Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, this is the next version, today's version of the Bulldog Reports. Lots to cover. First, the impeachment trial. What a joke. You know, they are impeaching to remove some... The only thing they could do is remove him from office. He's already gone. <laughs> I mean, he's already gone. 44 senators have voted, you know... It's unconstitutional. You got to get two thirds. I mean, it's just unbelievable. It's the media and the Democratic Party coming together to do as much damage as they can, they think, to Trump. I mean, it's a joke. Uh, Biden, you hear about this? Biden supports Newsom. Here you have a Democratic governor in California. He's going to get recalled. By the way, Davis, who got recalled, your career's over. You get recalled as governor, your career is over. Don't you think, Roger, that's pretty good, much of a deal killer? I, I mean, if you get recalled. I would. Uh, I would uh, Joe Biden yes. supports Newsom. That tells you all you need to know about old Joe. Uh, you hear about this? Johnson & Johnson says we might need more than one or two COVID shots. We might need a COVID shot every freaking year. Hmm. Big business. You know what? If you were a pharmaceutical developing a vaccine, wouldn't it be pretty smart to make that vaccine not work unless you get it every year? <laughs> you can't make this up. Uh, Biden decided he had a plan to track, allegedly, Chinese influence in our schools and colleges. Would it shock you that he's dropped that plan? <laughs> Boy, the Chinese. You know what? You think made in China is a problem now? Everything's going to be made in China. Uh, did you hear about Gates? Did you, everybody's forgotten about this. The Secretary of Defense Gates under Bush and Obama said that Joe Biden was wrong, in his book, his memoir, was wrong on every single foreign policy decision. <laughs> can't make that up. Don Lemon of CNN. I can't stand this guy. He is creepy. It just tells you what CNN's all about, that he keeps his job. He has said that Trump supporters are no longer allowed to defend the police. <laughs> Why? By the way, this Capitol Hill police officer that died, how did he die? When did he die? And what did he die from? Have you heard any of that? No, we haven't. He wasn't stoned on the Capitol steps, folks. Um... Uh, Iran, you hear about this one, Roger? <laughs> this is just too funny. Uh, one of these. Don't they want a? They want a, uh, a bomb now, don't they? Well, yeah, they want a bomb, <laughs> but that's not funny. <laughs> Iran. Some of the one of their leaders came out. I don't know if it was the Alatollah or somebody came out that said the the COVID vaccine makes you gay. What? What? Now, we know that's not true and crazy, but it's just the kind of stuff that these guys say, which is, you know, I used to mock Russia, North Korea, Iran, all the BS they say. What's funny is our media does that now. I mean, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi says this stuff. But now, just think about that. Let's just assume for fun it's true. <laughs> all the people... They got I guess the that vaccine. means you're not getting your shot. All these, all these, all these, you're going to go to the hospital. Everybody, everybody in the hospital going to be gay. You go to a nursing home, all the old people. Are well, out. the question is, is how long will it take to become gay? All, all, all the old people are gay. I mean, you have to admit, if this was true, it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> oh gosh the things that they say <laughs> hey you know how bad how bad does it have to be in new york city roger that they want to the new york stock exchange is saying Wants to move to florida if you change it's going to become the miami stock exchange i saw that the, the, i mean everybody's going to south beach the trump's everybody my god i wanted to buy a place in florida early Earlier this spring, why didn't we? Oh my God! And last but not least, uh, you were gonna you were gonna you were gonna uh, do a little bit for me here on this last one, Roger. Yeah. yeah okay. Now here you go. All right. Listen to this song. All right. All right. Well, Roger. 
Roger, all I gotta say I'm is play, I'm playing the Star Spangled Banner. I'm you're play. never, you're never gonna hear the Star Spangled Banner at a Dallas Mavericks game again. Mark Cuban, Mark Cuban has decided no more national anthem. And he actually mocked everybody. He says, do they play the national anthem when you go to work? It's a cold. They started playing the national anthem before these major sporting events, high school. It's a tradition. It's an American tradition, Mark Cuban. I can't stand Mark Cuban. I thought it was an NBA rule. That is, I thought you had. Well, they're letting everybody. Everybody can change what they want now. You know, you got to be hip. You know. I, I kind of like Mark Cuban on 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 Shark Tank, but now I don't. Well, all I can tell you is, is it's not going to sell well in Dallas, Texas. No. No national anthem before Mavericks games. No. Mark Cuban. My God. I used to like the guy, too. I hate him now. No, I don't. I just think he's a nut job. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. You know what we'll start doing? What's that? Let's start playing the national anthem. Let's play it again. Before our show. Don, don, don. <laughs> this is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope you have a great, I hope you don't get the vaccine and turn gay.